In the world of aviation, size has always made a statement. And in 2025, that statement just got louder, bolder, and absolutely massive. This year, at the legendary Paris Air Show, the skies will welcome a new king, the largest aircraft ever built. Its name? Windrunner. And it's not just an aircraft, it's a flying colossus designed to carry the future on its wings. Welcome to Aviatech Channel. Today, we're diving deep into the stunning debut of the Windrunner, a revolutionary aircraft poised to reshape how we think about size, logistics, and the very purpose of flight. When you first lay eyes on the Windrunner, your brain hesitates. Is this real? At a staggering 356 feet long, it dwarfs anything that's ever taken to the skies. To put that into perspective, the Windrunner is 80 feet longer than the late Antonov AN-225 Maria, which once held the title of the world's largest aircraft. But it's not just about length. Inside, the aircraft holds a cavernous 271,000 cubic feet of cargo space. That's enough room to fit several semi-trucks with room to spare. This aircraft was never meant to just be big for the sake of it. It was built with purpose. And that purpose, it's in the name, Windrunner. You see, as the world races toward renewable energy, one particular challenge keeps popping up. How do you transport massive wind turbine blades to the remote areas where they're needed most? Some of these blades can stretch over 340 feet long, longer than a football field. Traditional transport methods hit a wall. That's where the Windrunner enters the picture. Built by Radia Corporation, this aircraft was designed specifically to fly these mammoth components directly to wind farms, cutting through logistical nightmares and opening up vast new regions to green energy. What truly sets the Windrunner apart isn't just its size, it's the flexibility. Unlike most large aircraft that require long reinforced runways, the Windrunner is engineered to take off and land on unpaved runways as short as 1,800 meters. That means it can deliver its oversized cargo to places no other aircraft of its scale has ever reached. It can carry up to 72.6 metric tons, enough for everything from satellites to prefab structures, even military vehicles. It's not just breaking boundaries in scale, it's tearing down the limits of where aviation can reach. Creating an aircraft of this magnitude isn't the work of one company alone. The Windrunner is the product of a bold international collaboration from Spain to Brazil, from the US to the UK, aerospace leaders joined forces, each bringing world-class expertise to the table. The tail, crafted by Akaturi in Spain. The pressurized systems, developed in Brazil. The avionics, control systems, and fuel infrastructure, all the critical pieces of a machine this complex, were sourced from across the globe. In many ways, Windrunner isn't just an aircraft. It's a symbol of what's possible when innovation is shared beyond borders. And as expected, the defense world took notice. In May 2025, the U.S. Transportation Command signed an agreement to evaluate Windrunner's potential for military logistics. Think about that. Deploying tanks, field hospitals, even disaster relief infrastructure into areas that are nearly impossible to reach by conventional means. Not in weeks, not in days. In hours, Windrunner could redefine the pace and scale at which global responses happen, both in defense and humanitarian missions. And now, the aviation world waits. On June 16th, at the Paris Air Show, the Windrunner will make its official debut. All eyes will be on Le Bourget Airport as this titan of engineering rolls onto the tarmac, not just to show off its size, but to demonstrate its promise. This isn't just a prototype in development. It's a fully envisioned aircraft with the capability to change how we move the world. The crowds, the engineers, the skeptics, all of them will witness history as the Windrunner shows what the future of aviation could look like. The sky has always represented possibility. With Windrunner, it now represents something even more powerful. Access. Access to remote energy, to unreachable zones, to faster global aid, to a new era of flight. So, what do you think? Is the Windrunner a technological leap forward or an oversized gamble? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit like, subscribe to Aviatech channel, 
and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment in the ever-evolving world of aviation. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.